Hi, this is Kim, and in this vlog I am continuing with a process that I've been walking since a few weeks, where this is the third step, the third part in and of this process, where I am changing a fear reaction within myself towards a person in real time. Um, in real time meaning that I'm applying the tools of writing to freedom, self-forgiveness and self-corrective application in a step-by-step -step program where in real time I assess myself and I assess my actual self-change within this process where for instance in this third step what I am doing or what I have done is I have uh, looked at the the second step that I had just walked which was where I noticed a personality structure within my writing that was behind the experience of fear um, towards this individual and within my process of writing self-forgiveness and self-correction I have corrected this um, personality system within myself and I've scripted a new uh, script for myself in terms of who I will be around this person to ensure that when I'm around this person I no longer automatically step into a specific personality structure. Personality structure as sort of a mechanism within myself that I have created within my past in absolute unawareness of who I actually am in my emotional reactions or within my thoughts in relation to people where within the specific personality structure I have created an experience of fear within myself towards this person and from that fear I will go into an experience of uncertainty and anxiety and tension and uncomfortableness within myself in relation to for instance speaking with this person or communicating with this person so that was the second step that I've walked where I corrected this personality structure and in the third step the first part of the third step would be to again when I'm in the presence of the specific individual, again assess who I am in relation to this individual, meaning assess for myself where or what um, there is still existing within me of emotional experiences such as fears or insecurity or uncertainty. What else is left within me that I can identify that is creating a specific emotional experience or reaction within myself towards this individual that is sabotaging me in my ability to go up to this person and simply speak with them or strike up a conversation and communicate. You know, what is there within me that is creating this sensation of anxiety or insecurity? where I can't simply speak with them in a normal way or I go into shyness. So again I went back to the drawing board so to speak where again I went into the process of writing, writing out what it is that I can still identify within myself that is constituting my experience in relation to this person. Um, because what I found that after having walked the second step of correcting the personality mechanism within myself that steps in every time I'm with this person, is that there is still an experience. You know, I've corrected this personality structure and yet, when I'm with this person, there's still something there. So what is that something? That is what I investigated within my writing. And within my writing, I had a look at specifically memories. Memories in relation to 
this person um, where I'm looking at subconscious memories, meaning what is it in the back of my mind that is popping up when I think of this person? What is it that I'm subconsciously associating with this person that is making me feel the way I do, that is making me feel inferior towards them, or tense, or anxious, or um, worth less than this person. And so what I found was that there are, in fact, specific memories within my mind where I felt the exact same way as how I'm feeling now in relation to this individual within my past. Meaning, within my past, there were moments, for instance, in my school schooling years, there were moments where I felt inferior and worthless and tense and anxious towards specific individuals in the same way as how I'm experiencing myself now towards this specific person in my environment. Which is fascinating because this obviously means and implies that this specific individual in my environment right now is reminding me subconsciously of those specific individuals from my past. So this is a very fascinating point to investigate, meaning what is it specifically that I'm associating with this individual? What is it specifically that is reminding me of that moment from the past that's making me relive that moment in relation to this person? So it's like I'm reliving the past completely. Because in reality, this specific person in my life right now has got nothing to do with my past and with how I experienced myself in relation to those people in my school. They've got nothing to do with that. And yet, I'm experiencing myself the exact same way. So that is why it's important and, well, fascinating to investigate this point and to draw the connections that I'm making within my subconscious mind. Which is thus the third step that I'm walking of, like, the third layer that I can identify that is there within my mind. That is constituting the overall experience within myself of fear towards this person. So um, within this you can go and have a look at my blog where I've shared the entire process of self-forgiveness and self-correction that I've written and that I've walked in relation to this third step, so in relation to the memories that I could find um, connected with this specific individual, where thus, first in my self-forgiveness statements, what I'm doing is basically peeling off all of the connections, all of the relationships, all of the associations that I've created in my mind with this person and the memory, and also correcting the memory itself, meaning diffusing the memory itself by placing myself back into that moment from the past and looking at the moment and who I was in the moment and why it was that I reacted with inferiority or worthlessness or anxiety or tension towards these individuals and within that moment taking responsibility for how I reacted and how I thought and how I felt so that not only am I standing stable here now in this moment but I'm standing stable within the entirety of myself, meaning past, present, and future, so that the past is no longer able to repeat itself within the present or the future, because I've corrected the past by walking the memory, by correcting the memory within my writing. So, and then within the self-corrective statements, I'm basically, again, scripting myself, creating a script for myself uh, that I will be living in relation to this individual, where I'm basically making sure that when I'm in the presence of this person, no longer automatically stepping into a specific experience that's just coming up within my mind, but so that within the moment, 
I am the directive principle of myself, where in the moment I decide who I am and not these memories, not these experiences or not personality constructs, but I decide through stating who I am within self-corrective statements, self-corrective scripts, where I'm basically for myself, like writing out who I realize that I really am. For instance, you know, I realize that I am not this experience of fear or inferiority. I am oneness and equality. I am self-responsibility. You know, in a nutshell, I mean, obviously self-corrective statements have to be very, very specific, which you can read within my blog to see just how specific self-corrective statements actually are and should be. Okay, so that is again a step within this process that I'm walking of changing a fear reaction within myself towards a person in real time. Um, which is a practical process that I'm sharing here within my blogging and my vlogging so that basically there exists a specific step-by-step -step program or structure that uh, anyone could apply for themselves in relation to changing yourself, changing uh, a reaction or experience within yourself towards your environment. Which is a very cool way of structuring change, a very cool way of basically being able to ensure for yourself that um, that change is real, that self-change is an actual, real, tangible process. And not some idea in your head, but actually something that you are walking in real time. That you are walking step by step by step. Because only in that way can you really for yourself eventually say, Yes, I've changed. Yes, this change is real because look, this is the, this is the steps that I've walked. This is the process that I've walked. Where time and time again, after every step, I've taken a moment to reassess myself, to cross-reference with my reality who I actually am and be honest with myself about where I've changed and how I've changed and how effective um, my process actually is, which is what I'm doing here within my blogging and my vlogging and my writing is always reassessing my process and always checking the points for myself to make sure that you know, I actually change and that this process that I'm walking is effective. Okay, so within the next step I will again reassess my process and so be able to see where I've changed and how I've changed and how effective I've been in this process and again walk a specific step where I'm making sure that I am living the change that I stand for and that I'm speaking and that I stand as and basically promoting so that I can also stand as a living example for everyone in this world that it is in fact possible to change yourself for real in a practical real realistic way okay so thank you very much for staying tuned and i'll see you next time bye